Hi, I'm Brett Evans with MotorOne.com, and this is the 2021 Genesis G80, the company's alternative to established luxury stalwarts like the Mercedes-Benz E-Class and the BMW 5 Series. Let's see how well the Genesis brand stacks up, at least in this static video presentation. The G80 is a mid-size rear-drive sedan that also competes with the Audi A6, Jaguar XF, Cadillac CT5, and Lame Duck Lincoln Continental. Starting at $47,700, the G80 promises to be a good value, too. That price gets you a 300 horsepower, 2.5 liter turbocharged 4 with rear wheel drive, although all wheel drive is optional. And if you're power mad, the Genesis is also available with a 3.5 liter turbo V6, boasting 375 horses and 391 pound feet. That engine starts at 59,100, rising to 62,250 with all wheel drive. Well, this is the first chance we've had to spend any in-person time with the Genesis G80, and it looks really good. There's a very strong family resemblance established by this big shield grille and these two um, dash-shaped headlights. I also appreciate the thoughtful design that went into making the front fender garnish and headlights occupy the same horizontal plane. That attention to detail keeps the G80 from looking too anonymous and establishes those cues as Genesis trademarks. Do you remember those big, lacy... 70s style wheels that the Genesis G90 has been seen on? Well, the G80 doesn't quite go that far, but you can still see some of that lattice work in the centers of these wheels, as well as in the front bumper's air intake and peppered throughout the rest of the vehicle. There's a very strong family resemblance established by this big shield grille and these two um, dash-shaped headlights. The same shape is repeated in the faux fender vents and on the taillights, and in between is a really, really strong aggressive shoulder line that gives the G80 a very planted square stance. Another one of my favorite styling features is the G80's gently hunched rear deck. There's a lot of fastback design to this car, but Genesis keeps it from looking too droopy with a crisp, subtle ducktail rear spoiler. The cabin is a sumptuous and comfortable place to spend time, with quality materials laid out over a minimalistic and relaxing design. The leather feels good, as do the open pour wood panels, and the handles and switches are well damped, imparting a feeling of luxury and attention to detail. As the second ground-up debut since the company revealed its new styling signature on the GV80 SUV, it's clear designers spent their time getting the little things right on this car. This interesting navy blue and brown two-tone is really kind of surprising and attractive. Overall, it's just a really nice look. I also appreciate this boat-style tiller which kind of recalls the one on the Hyundai Sonata, but it's still a very attractive piece. It works just as well here as it does in that midsize sedan. Okay, here's something to note. So this is technically a midsize luxury sedan, but as I'm about to show you, it honestly has full-size space. I'm six feet tall and I kind of have long legs. I've got the driver's seat set to where I would be comfortable, and as you can see, there's still plenty of leg room for me. Another interesting feature is this passenger seat control for the rear seat passengers. It allows them to tilt it, move it forward, the like, opening up limousine levels of space for the rear seat if there's not a front seat passenger. Honestly, this could actually be the darling of executive fleets and such with the departure of the Lincoln Continental after 2020. Like its corporate cousins at Hyundai and Kia, the Genesis G80 has a pretty intuitive infotainment system, and I like the massive 14.5 inch displays wide and high positioning a lot. The screen, in addition to a 12.3 digital instrument cluster and heads-up display, should provide plenty of information to the driver. The attractively lace-patterned rotary dial in the center console, called Genesis Integrated Controller, is relatively intuitive as well, and it features handwriting recognition. My favorite gimmick is the Sounds of Nature setting, which plays relaxing ambient noises over the car's audio speakers, a good antidote to road rage. What I like most about the Genesis G80 is that it's not trying to be a European luxury sedan. It's very confidently South Korean. You see that in the waveform stitching on the seats and door panels. You see it with the lace work on the center console. And you see it with this unusual chocolate and navy blue color combination. It looks really impressive and it exempts itself very well from the sea of black, gray, and beige that you'd find on today's traditional luxury sedans. Adding to the fact that it will start at thousands less than its competitors at under $50,000, the G80 might be a very impressive proposition for some buyers. Of course, we'll have to wait till we can drive it, but for now, it looks like a winner.